Hey Connect Church, I just want to let you know that church is cancelled. I'll explain in a second. This is good coffee. Sorry, I've had probably three or four of these and it's three in the afternoon so you can just understand and imagine how my night's gonna go. But, um, <laughs> as I've been looking through our series, you know, you, me, and the church, one of the things that has really come up to my attention has been, you know, um, the church in general tends to be really good about relaying information or details, you know, and so if we're talking about being missional, you know, the church tends to talk about it a lot, but then doesn't really tend to give much resourcing or opportunities. And when I read through scripture, as church is, is modeled in, in here, church is meant to be this, this um, alive organism that's engaged with culture and society. And so what I mean by that is um, you can know all the facts about Jesus and everything in the Bible, but if you don't live this out, what's the whole point? And so I think the church, what we need to make sure we're doing is giving you opportunities to try living out some of the things in you. And so one of the things uh, I'm going to be sharing with us to do is frankly very uncomfortable, very um, stretching if you will, and I get that some people are going to hate this idea and some people are going to feel extremely uncomfortable with this idea, but hear me out on this. The church is meant to be impacting our community. As we've been learning about our community, it's been amazing the stuff that's been shared, but these are real people. These are people who, who need to hear the gospel. And um, I don't know about you, but I don't want to stand before God and say, I just, it wasn't in my personality type to not share the gospel with my neighbor. Like that just doesn't flow. And so what I am going to be encouraging, what we're going to be doing is in the month of November, there's five Sundays. The first Sunday and the last Sunday will be your normal Sundays. The first Sunday we're going to have a guest speaker and then the last Sunday we're going to have a big party. We're going to just celebrate. But the three Sundays in between, church will be canceled. Wait, now before kids you get excited or before parents you get excited about the prospect of sleeping in, it's not meant to be like that. Where I'm not canceling church so that you can sleep in. I'm not canceling church so you can get more chores done, get your groceries done. That's not what the purpose of this is. Instead, what I'm asking is what we do in the regular time slot of church, which is 10 to 11, or 11.30, or, or 12, depending on the connect point you're in, uh, to actually be out in your community, either out for a walk, at the grocery store, um, just out and about. And not just out and about for the sake of being out and about, but actually asking God to, act, to put an encounter in your day. Asking God to say, to, to kind of give you a, an opportunity to share the gospel with someone. And we're gonna talk about how we can resource you in this. And before you get so like, like you just wanna shut it down. Honestly, God's wired you in a way that what you gotta share will resonate with the people that you're gonna encounter. God wouldn't leave you out to dry on this, so just, just bear with me. So we've got Raj Hare joining us on the first, and she's gonna talk more into this, and we're gonna do this um, church's cancel idea for three weeks, and the reason being is it allows us to try something, to experience uh, a difficulties and struggles, adapt it a bit, and try something different. And it's gonna be uncomfortable. 
And what we're going to do is we are going to release a, a, a video of encouragement for you as you go out that week. But this is your opportunity to really take the truth, go for a walk, interact with our culture, come back, and then as um, uh, uh, on the fifth Sunday of November, just celebrate and recognize what God's been doing. I know this is uncomfortable, and frankly, I'm terrified by this. Uh, your leadership's terrified by this, but as I look in Scripture, this is what God's called us to do. And please understand, we're not talking about cheap Christianity that says uh, that sells Christianity like a, a used car salesman. That's not what we're offering, and that's not how we're presenting it either. So just just bear with us, but join us November 1st, and this will kind of fill in some of the gaps. But yeah, that's that's the exciting news.